Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. Here is a sneak peek of some of the DIYs we're going to be making today for Coastal Christmas. Using supplies from the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Spot. So let's get started. Okay, I got this at the Target Dollar Spot, this beautiful sleigh for $5. It's actually quite large and I thought it would be great to make some kind of a flower arrangement with it. This project kind of evolved, but you'll see, you'll see all the steps we take to get there. And so I'm going to use some of this floral foam from the Dollar Tree. It was a little too thick, so I just cut it in half and that's going to be a perfect place to put my flowers. I got these flowers at the Dollar Tree the other day. And whenever I see these, I grab them because I love this color. It's one of my favorites. And I'm just using my little floral scissors from the Dollar Tree to cut those off and kind of arrange them around. I also go in and cut off all the greenery and put that in there as well. I end up using two bunches of these flowers to get it pretty full. I kind of arrange it by um, putting some of the taller ones in the taller part of the sleigh and some of the you know shorter ones in the front where it's a little bit not quite as high. And I thought we could do like a fun, beautiful coastal arrangement in here that kind of reminds you of the beach but it's gonna bring in Christmas with that fun sleigh. So we got pretty good coverage here. I thought about using this flower from the Dollar Tree, but decided against it. I thought I would go more beachy coastal. So I got these great ornaments at the Dollar Tree. They're Christmas trees, but I thought they looked more like coral if you turn them upside down. So I'm gonna use two packages of those, which is four, and I'm just cutting off the little tree stem so that I could turn them upside down, and we're gonna have some coral. They're so pretty. Um, I don't need to paint them or anything. They're kind of like a glittery white, but I do need to somehow make them into a floral pick. So I'm gonna use my miter scissors and some of these little skewers to cut off um, some shorter, shorter sticks that I can attach to them. And I hot glue those all together. I do find though that it's not very sturdy. So I do go in here and reinforce that with um, some twine. I just glue on some twine and wrap it around and then glue the other end down. And that makes it a much more secure little floral pick. So I wanna go for like a lot of coastal beachy things. And I think this coral will, will be perfect. So that seemed to help really secure it. So I go ahead and do the same thing to all four of them. And I want to do, I got some reindeer from the Dollar Tree as well. And I just wanna do something very beachy that's gonna go with my coastal Christmas decor in my house. A lot of wood, a lot of white, a lot of blues. And we got those all secure. And then I'm just gonna arrange those in our little floral arrangement. Just kind of scatter them around. And then to bring in a little bit more coastal decor, I am going to um, put some starfish and some sand dollars in here. So I get these starfish and sand dollars, both of them on Amazon. I can post a link below. I'm just gonna use two of the starfish. They're a pretty nice size and they're perfect color. Just put a little dab of hot glue just to secure those in place. And then I'm gonna do one sand dollar. I thought that would be really cute to um, kind of bring in a little bit more coastal decor. Just trying to figure out where to put it. And I decide to kind of glue it on the front where you can see it and it'll kind of stay in place. Then I don't want you to be able to see any of the foam inside, so I do go in here with a little bit of reindeer moss and just kind of put a little bit in there just to cover up any foam that might be visible and just to give it a little bit more of a finished look. 
Now I thought about using Cricut vinyl um, to kind of put something on the side of this sleigh, but I ended up using some of these little wood signs from the Dollar Tree that say Merry Christmas. I'm gonna paint this one in candy apple red. I did that because the, the this bottom of the sleigh is red and to kind of coordinate I do get it on here and I don't really like the red. I don't have a lot of red in the decor in my Christmas in the living room. And so I do end up having to change that. But then I looked at my reindeer and they were going the opposite direction. So I do have to rearrange a few things here to make my sleigh go the right direction. I don't know why I didn't look at that to begin with, but I'm just moving my little sand dollar to the front and then I kind of switch over my um, starfish as well so that you can see them from the other side. And then I'll need another one of those little wood signs. I love these little wood signs from the Dollar Tree. They're so cute. And you get a package of, I think, four of them. And I'm just painting those with just a little makeup sponge from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to attach that to this side of the sleigh. And now both sides are labeled, which I guess is even better. And I kind of got it all on there. And then I was like, I really don't think I went the red. But you know, that's okay because it's my project so I can change it any way I want, right? So the first step I do is I go in and I'm just gonna distress um, the sleigh all over, just the wood part, just to give it a little bit of a coastal vibe. And I kind of distress all over thinking that that might give me the look I was going for, but then I'm, do decide that I really do want it white. And so I just mix up some ivory chalk paint. I do a homemade um, recipe with acrylic paint. I can post a link below to the recipe. And then I'm gonna use another one of those makeup sponges from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna change the little Merry Christmas signs to ivory as long, as well as the bottom of the sleigh. Um, and I like that so much better. I'm so glad that I made the change because I really only made that Merry Christmas red to kind of match the rest of the sleigh, but it just didn't go with my overall look I was going for my project. I really wanted it to be a lot of blue and a lot of white. And I'm way more happy with that. Okay, this is the reindeer that I got to go with it. I'm gonna mix up a custom color here um, to paint our little reindeer. There are these like clear plastic reindeer. I got these at the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna do a total of three of them. And I'm just mis mixing turquoise and green and I kind of um, get this a little darker than I really want at first. I kind of always forget that this color looks like I want it and then maybe it dries a little bit darker, but I'm just going all over with a foam brush. I really kind of wanted a real paintbrush, but I think I'm out. And so I'm just kind of going all over. It's acrylic paint, so I'm not gonna get great coverage here, but I'm gonna have to go in and paint all three of these and give them all a second coat. And we've about got him painted. I've got one more leg here to paint. And it's just trying to get in all the um, spaces on there and the underside. So I went ahead and painted the other two the same color. And now here I am just going in and doing a second coat on this one. And that gave me pretty good coverage. I thought these were so pretty. And I love them in this color of blue. Now I thought I would just kind of distress all over with a little ivory, just to give me a little bit of a coastal beachy vibe. And wiping off any excess with a baby wipe. Then I thought the lead reindeer needed a red nose, so I did use a little bit of a paint pen there to kind of change the color. And you'll notice I kind of changed the color. So what I did was I added um, a lot more ivory to that and made it a softer color of blue. So it would be the exact same shade as our flowers. Okay, here's our next DIY. I kind of saw this idea, I think on Facebook, that you could make an angel. So I got some of these angel wings 
ornament from the Dollar Tree and one of these cute little bottles from the Dollar Tree. And I thought I would just simply put this together and make a little coastal beach angel. But first I gotta make this pretty color. So you'll see how I'm making it. I'm using turquoise, ivory, and a little bit of green to give me that kind of mint green color. And this is kind of the same color that I ended up going with with the um, reindeer, which I did make, you know, a little bit lighter. And this has like lots of like texture on there. So I'm just going in there with my foam brush and trying to get it in all the little grooves of the bottle. But this is the perfect size for a cute little angel. And then the little top there will be the head. So again, this is acrylic paint, so I do have to do two coats on that. But first I'm gonna go ahead and paint the top of it. Um, this is the color cashew, I think. And I just kind of wanted it to be like a skin color. And I'm going to do a couple coats on that as well to make sure you don't really see the glass through and I get pretty good coverage. I'm not really going to paint the top of the lip of the bottle. I don't think it's really necessary. And I'm just giving that a good dry. And then I kind of want to use a chunky brush from the Dollar Tree and kind of give it a slight distress with that ivory paint just to kind of go with my coastal vibe. But be careful if you do that because when you're wiping off the excess, you might take a little bit of the paint off the bottle. And I did it in a couple places, but I just touch it up, touch it back up with the blue color. Okay, our angel just needs wings. So I'm not gonna do anything to the wings. I think they're beautiful as is. I just gotta figure out a way to glue those to the back of our bottle. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of hot glue to attach. There's a couple points where it comes into contact with it. Right here at the top is where I'm gonna start gluing. And I do use quite a bit of hot glue because I want to make sure that these don't fall off. And then the bottom of the wings there do touch the bottle too. So I do go in and glue a little bit there as well to help reinforce it and make it a little bit sturdier. I love how this turned out. It was so cute and easy. And you could even leave it clear if that kind of went with your decor and it would be even easier. But I wanted to give it one little coastal touch. So I have some of these tiny starfish that I get on Amazon as well. And I'm just gonna glue one right here on the little angel neck. And that's all there is to this DIY. Very quick and easy and so cute. Okay, up next we're gonna have some coastal nutcrackers. So I got these nutcrackers at the Dollar Tree. They're made out of plastic. And I'm just pulling off the beard so that I can reuse them. And then pulling off the hair. Now the hair is stuck in between the two pieces of plastic and it was rather difficult to get off. The hats are easy to get off, they just kind of um, twist off. But I had to end up cutting on both sides because I could not get the hair off of these little nutcrackers. But what I want to do is go in and paint them and so I really have to get the hair and the beard out of the way. So I end up even having to use pliers to kind of get my remaining pieces out. And I'm trying to get all the fluff off of him so that I can give him, paint him. I think that Dollar Tree used to have wooden ones, but these are plastic. But that's okay because um, they were fairly easy to paint. I was a little worried about covering up all that design. But what I want to do is I want to do like an ombre design on them. Instead of all one color, kind of like make it start one color and kind of fade into a different color. And the colors that I've used in my living room for Christmas are this beautiful, you know, kind of mint green color and like a Caribbean blue color. And so that's what I thought I would do. I would do the top half of this one in this like mint green color. And I'm just using a brush because I'm trying to get in like all the little cracks and spaces. And then I will do the leg part of this one in that. So they'll both be ombre, like going from that green to blue, but they're kind of gonna be opposite of each other just to provide a little bit of variety. 
And it doesn't matter which one you use. They have like lots of different colors and styles on these. And for a dollar, they turned out super cute. So it does take a couple coats because again, I'm just using acrylic paint, but they were actually really easy to paint. And this is the other color I'm gonna go with. It's an acrylic color that I get at Target. And this is Caribbean blue, I believe. And I'm gonna do the opposite. So I'm gonna paint the bottom of this one the blue. And I will go in here and blend that together in just a little bit. And giving a good coat all over this one. I am gonna go ahead and paint the hats as well to kind of match the top part of both of the little nutcrackers. And again, I had to do about two coats on both parts on each one of my little nutcrackers. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the hat, paint the hats while they're not connected. They kind of twist on and off, so they're super easy to attach. I thought about mixing them up and, you know, kind of alternating their hats, but I decided I like that slow ombre effect. And so I do match that up to the head of each one. One in blue and one in the pretty color of green. And these turned out so sweet. And again, just two coats on each so that I don't get any of that existing color showing through. And now it's time to do the ombre effect. So to do that, I'm just using a makeup sponge from the Dollar Tree and kind of mixing the two colors together and then going on there with that. And so I get a soft fade from one color into the next and it looks very ombre. I kind of got this idea. They had some ombre um, nutcrackers at the Target Dollar Spot, but I think these turned out even cuter than what they had. And the colors are perfect for my design. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put the hats back on each one. They just screw on. And then all I have left to do is to reattach all the hair. So I'm just using hot glue to reattach the beard on each one of them. And then I also have to reattach the hair. The hair was a little crazy. Um, it doesn't look that great, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> And I just use a little bit of hot glue to attach that to the back of his head. And we have a cute little nutcracker. I really love how these turned out. I'm glad that I alternated um, different, the different colors on the top and bottom. They look really cute standing next to each other in my Christmas decorations. And that was so easy. And don't worry if you mess, mess up painting at all, it kind of gives a little bit of added appeal. It kind of makes it look a little bit more like wood. And then I wanna give them a tiny coastal touch as well. So again, I'm gonna use some of those tiny starfish from the Amazon, and I'm just gonna attach one on each hat, and I'm gonna kind of just do them on um, opposite sides to coordinate them together. And they are ready to go. Okay, our last set of DIYs are gonna be coastal Christmas trees. I got these little bottle brush trees at the Dollar Tree. I don't really like the color though, so I'm gonna go in and tape off the wood bottoms. And then I'm just gonna go outside and paint these with some ivory spray paint. I don't, you can kinda of still see a little tiny tint of blue and pink on these in the end, but actually, Probably only I can because I'm looking for it. But I just take these outside and spray them all over and give them a good coat of this ivory paint. And we'll have two ivory bottle brush trees to decorate for Christmas. This is how they turned out. So you can see they're pretty much all ivory, but it needs ornaments. So I got some of these metallic beads from the crafting section at the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna use, I end up using two packages for two trees because I'm not gonna use all of the colors. I'm gonna kind of use the colors that we're using in my coastal decor, which is that pretty blue and that pretty metallic green. And then I'm just gonna use them as Christmas ornaments. So first I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to hot glue these in there. Um, I start by just putting a dab of hot glue but then that doesn't work very well. I'm afraid I'm gonna burn myself if I put the hot glue on the bead while I'm holding it. So I end up just 
putting um, hot glue on my silicone mat first, kind of dipping my bead in there, and then that worked pretty well. So that's what I end up doing for all of these. And I got this idea from Bells. They had the bottle brush trees with the beautiful metallic coastal color ornaments in there. And I thought I could totally recreate that. And these beads from the Dollar Tree are perfect as well as these little trees from the Dollar Tree. I want to alternate the two colors. So I'm kind of doing a diagonal row of one color and then a diagonal row of the next color, but kind of offsetting them. And so it does kind of look, um, you know, all mixed up, all different colors, but there is some kind of a pattern. And I found it was easier to do one side at a time and then go ahead and do the other side in the same pattern. And this worked really well. I didn't burn myself at all with putting the hot glue on my silicone mat. Um, my hot glue gun releases a lot of hot glue, so I really was trying to be careful um, by not wanting to put any directly on the bead. But so easy, you just go ahead, put a little hot glue on there, push it into the bottle brush tree, and we can decorate our little tree. And I think it looks so pretty. And that's pretty much all there is to this DIY. Once we get all of our ornaments on here, this one is gonna be ready to go. Oh, I forgot, I also do add a couple of those tiny starfish just to the top of each tree for a little star at the top. And that was the perfect little coastal touch to each one of these little Christmas trees. So cute. Okay, are you guys ready for the final reveal? I'm gonna show you what each of these look like and then I'm gonna also show you what my Christmas decorations look like in my living room as well as my coastal Christmas tree. So here we go. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I want to hang out with my friends and Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah.
Thank you for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, comment your favorite project below, and also don't forget to hit subscribe. Until next time, everyone, Merry Christmas.